I'm Steve Millard, and I'm here with Three Minutes-ish with Richard Padgett from Career Board talking about the challenges small employers face when they're looking to hire folks um, and trying to get the right people on their team. Richard, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So we are excited about some of the new work that we're doing with Career Board. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges that you're seeing for small employers as they're going out trying to find the right people. Yeah, I think one of the major challenges small organizations have always had mm -hmm. has been competing in a marketplace with much larger organizations. Who, who may have a dedicated budget in six-figure land right. to, just to attract and hire talent and have well-known brands mm -hmm. um, and a culture that's defined that people know about and are aware of. So in essence, they create their own job engine in a marketplace. And in a marketplace like Cleveland, um, there's multiple of those entities. So as a small business owner or a small to medium-sized business, you're left with, okay, how do I compete with some of these much larger organizations. Well, and I guess the nature of that has changed a lot, right? Over the last 15 years, no longer do you see much in classified ads. There's all kinds of other ways to identify yourself or your talent. What's changed broadly over the last you know, 10, 15 years while you've been in this business? Yeah, Career Board's been here for 20 years in the marketplace. Wow. Um, and originally it started out just as you said. So job boards were exactly that. They were no more than classified ads moved mm -hmm. from that, that part of the newspaper onto a digital board. Um, there wasn't very much technology or intelligence behind the process. So in essence, you just paid and posted a job and hoped, um, we call it the post and pray model, <laughs> right. that eventually someone would see it and say, geez, I'd like to work there. And they would then apply. Okay, and so um, actually that's the model that someone like Craigslist still uses today. So mm -hmm. um, that is still in existence in the marketplace. 20 years on, um, we still have just a post and pray model in some of our competitors. Um, so in that time frame, what has changed has been technology. Mm -hmm. um, some of the ways that talent is attracted, um, job distribution and advertisement. So actually branding a company, giving companies the opportunity um, to share more information rather than a three-line wanted ad. Right. Or when they started with job boards, a very similar small ad. Um, we do things like video with embedded that demonstrate cultures of companies. Um, we do things like um, candidate attraction where we go out and actually advertise the jobs in other venues so that people have an opportunity to then come and know about that application or that ability to apply not just hoping they stumble upon it. So it goes beyond just posting your job and as you said hoping somebody responds it's really a chance to brand yourself put yourself out there and distinguish your company right? Absolutely. So when you think about the uh, I guess, posting process for small business owners. What are some tips that you would give to a small business owner to differentiate their posting or differentiate the opportunity that they have in their company? The, the easiest thing they can do is be specific about what the position is. Mm -hmm. And not just detail it as trying to save as many words as they can, but detail it in a way that shows what problem they're trying to solve. Uh, that's the best tip that I could give. Instead of just saying, here's the job, and here's what it entails, and here's what we give you for that job. Right. Talk about the problems that, that, you can, that you need solved. So then the right person will look at that and say, hey, I'm able to solve this problem for this company, and it becomes a much more relatable advertisement than just, here's what we are, here's what we're looking for, and here's what you have to have um, just to apply to the job. And so you want those elements, but you keep those things concise. Talk a little bit more about the company itself and what your visions, goals, and challenges are and how you're trying to solve those through talent. Okay. And it relates well to the candidate in that way. Now, take it a little further. You know, one of the big things we talk about a lot is millennials and how they're different in the workplace. What is it that's unique about millennials as they're looking and perusing these job opportunities? Are they even using job boards, I guess? Yeah, so they'd be the largest group okay. utilizing job boards currently. Okay. Um, and, I mean, they've grown up with technology. There's no fear there. Mm -hmm. um, they're very understanding of gaining information and, and also divulging their own information through a technological portal. And so in that way, they don't have that same fear. But there's some certain differences. Um, there's, there's many books you could go read about it. Right. But uh, in a recent survey, top three things that they're looking for, um, compensation is still there. Mm -hmm. That's going to always be important to people. So another thing for small business owners is you have to be honest with yourself. If you're advertising a job, are you willing to compensate what the market right. demands for that position? Um, the, but then really what they're looking for is work-life balance. That's number one that comes up. Okay. We're a little different from baby boomer generation where it's go work, grind, right. and then everything will be okay. Right. Um, they want to know there's a work-life balance from the beginning. And then second it's the cultural fit for that company. So that's why it's important that companies are able to rela relay that in some way in their job. So do you start out by saying, hey, work-life balance here, come apply? Or, I mean, how do you indicate that in an ad? You would always start with the simple things, exactly what the job is, right. um, what kind of, and put in keywords. You've got to think about how they're going to search for the job. Right. Then certainly um, the beginning needs to be that, a very business-like approach to the ad. This is what uh, the job description, title, 
mm -hmm. keywords associated, associated with that because they have to first find it. Part of that's a search. Right. So you've got to kind of put yourself in that mind frame. But then once you have them, it's like any other advertisement. Now you've got their attention. What do you need to tell them that's important? Now it's important to talk about you respect the work-life balance. Got it. That you have a, a, a culture of um, empowerment and you have a culture of um, development. Those are the types of things they want to hear once they go, okay, this is interesting. Now why would I want to work there? Well, that's three minutes-ish with Richard Paget about job boards. Uh, hopefully you've got a little bit of a tips here and education about how you can use them to better support your small business. Thanks, Richard. Thank you.